Okay, so I can't even see it. <laughs> we got this Thule Chariot. Uh, this is a two-seater. It's a Thule Chariot Cross two-seater. <laughs> two-seater. And um, this awesome crust evasion light uh, custom build that I made. Crust is a really cool brand. They um, they make some pretty forward-thinking bike packing rigs. Uh, we are having a kid soon, and um, I don't want to stop riding and training. And one way to accomplish that is to just take the kid on rides with you, which is why we got the trailer. Um, I'll talk about the trailer some more in a bit, but. This bike is kind of made for just big tires. Um, it's relatively lightweight. It honestly doesn't matter. It's more for hauling. Got some big 650B tires and a lot of cool things that kind of make hauling a baby around easier in my head. I've never done it before, but um, just totally theory crafting. <laughs> That and you used our unborn child as an excuse to build up another bike. So we're gonna we're gonna be hauling this baby around. <laughs> this is a non-alcoholic for Chase. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and that's a great place to start off this bike check. The love these HT M1 pedals. They just came out with the M2s. Uh, I haven't tried those yet, but they're probably awesome. I know this is kind of extra extra, but I did put a power meter on this bike. It's gonna be really interesting to me, like what hauling a trailer does to a power profile. So I, I couldn't help myself. I did put a power meter on here. We have a Chris King bottom bracket that I had laying around in the garage. You'll see this a lot on builds that I do. Cane Creek aluminum uh, preloader. I went with a round chainring on this. Normally I run an oval, but kind of started riding bikes with oval chainrings. So I, I've pretty much never used a round one before. I'll report back on how that is, but I thought it was a good one to give it a try being round instead of oval for once. Went with uh, what is my favorite group set of all time, Force One 11 speed. This is mated to a E13 Helix 9 to 46 cassette. Really, really big fan of E13. Love that nine tooth cog. I know it's not efficient, but who cares about efficiency if you're rolling down a big hill? Like you're gonna be rolling fast anyway, so knocking it into that nine tooth cog just lets you keep pedaling, feels like you're moving forward. It's a, it's a crest, who cares? One interesting thing though is that if you run an 11 speed drivetrain one by, try out an Eagle chain on it. Um, this thing shifts so good with the 12 speed chain. Um, copper I thought looked really good on this, but seriously, this, the narrower chain I think just shifts so much better on these 11 speed bikes. It's a lot more durable too. Like I'm pretty impressed with these Eagle chains, pretty much, I mean, I run them on every bike I own almost, so uh, try it out if you haven't ever tried that before. Got these Zip 303 Firecrest 650B wheels. Super weird. I actually, whenever I started building this bike, I I knew I wanted this wheel set because it's, it's kind of, a, it, it's almost a piece of history in my head, and I'll explain that in a second. It's totally discontinued from SRAM and ZIP. So I actually bought this wheel set on Pinkbike. ZIP released it whenever gravel was just kind of starting to be a thing in the industry. I think a lot of the manufacturers thought that 650B was gonna be the gravel bike wheel set. That ended up not being true, but ZIP released this awesome wheel set um, at the very beginning of gravel. <laughs> the very beginning of gravel. I'm super stoked to get my hands on one of these. It's actually super outdated. It's a really outdated wheel set. Honestly, I got it just because it's cool. It's only got like an, 
21 internal rim width for a wheel set that's supposed to be made into a big tire, that's pretty narrow. That's okay though, it's not a big deal. We decided to go with Recon Race 27.5 uh, by 2.25. Even this 2.25 really hangs over the edge. The 650B was a big consideration in the design of this bike. I primarily was going to be hauling a trailer with it and having fun. This is just a fun bike. So 650B totally makes sense. Um, super big tire makes sense. The goal is stability. If I'm going to be doing rides hauling my new child, want to make sure it's safe. Some other things we did to help out with that is I have this really, really wide Zip Explorer SL handlebar. I went with the 46 millimeter wide handlebar. The last thing I want to highlight on this build is uh, this awesome dropper post. Fox SL 27.2. I think this is only a 75 millimeter drop, but it really helps out whenever you're trying to just stance over the bike and again, stability. And the way I accomplished this is actually the most interesting part of the entire build. SRAM makes a force, they make a rival one too, but this uh, left-hand shifter or left-hand brake comes standard with a dropper remote. This bike does not come standard with dropper routing. It's a steel frame uh, and I just drilled a hole in it. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. Uh, let me flip the bike around so you can see the hole better. So right down here, straight up took a power drill and drilled a hole in the frame. It's not the most eloquent, elegant, Thing in the world, but again, this is a steel frame. It's a crust. I think crust would be proud of me for drilling a hole in their frame, to be honest with you. And it was super fun. Um, and now I have an awesome dropper on my kid hauling. Let's get it hooked up to the trailer and test it out. We got this Thule through axle adapter. Actually, it's super nice. It's got a Allen key in the head of it there. And then I'm assuming uh, we'll be able to just screw the trailer onto it. So let's install this and see how it does. So we got the right axle. So that's great news. Good job, us. It was me. You, did, you didn't order it. Good job, <laughs> knowing what axle crest uses. It's a safety feature, Jesse. Safety feature. Learning on the fly here, I've never really messed with this before until just now, so you're seeing my first try at this. Good thing we're testing it before we have a baby though, right? Yeah, I mean, I already know how it works. I, I built it. <laughs> you want to see if the dog can fit in it? I need to check the weight limit. They're hefty. <laughs> What's the weight limit? We'll look up the weight limit in a second. <laughs> All right, that's easy enough. Oh, whoa, maybe not. <laughs> and the website said that it can fit two 49 pound kids, so it can fit one Bodie dog. We're gonna see if our dog is comfortable in it. If he's upset, we won't put him in it, but we're gonna give it a try. <laughs> Got it all attached, so I'm gonna try it out just uh, without a live thing in it to start. <laughs> One thing I really like about this is how it swivels. So like side to side action isn't affecting the trailer, which I think is gonna be really important. The ultimate dad bike, I think is what this thing is. You ready to, you ready to ride in the trailer? Yeah. So honestly, it feels pretty good. I even went off a little ramp back there. Like, that's a pretty good turning radius. I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I was thinking this was gonna be like, I was gonna have to really think about riding with this, but it really does a great job of just 
flowing with where you want to ride. I'm so far really. Well, we can put some weight in it and test it now too. <laughs> he seems excited. About no, this, Bodie's so. ready. He's right here. What's he doing? He's ready for his moment. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's. <laughs> See if you can get him in there. Oh man, he was in there and then he <laughs> smashed my bike. I wasn't one, ready for that. One part. thing about this is that the hey, the trailer I does not it. hold the bike up. Stay. Man, Bodie's okay. ready. <laughs> just stay. Here's more treats. It's just... Get him in there. He's ready to go. <laughs> 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 you ready to go, Bodie? <laughs> So if he if he rotates his butt, he can. <laughs> You're okay. Good boy. You're a champ. Good boy, Bodie. Good boy. Stay. <laughs> Bodie, you're okay. All right, buddy. <laughs> he escaped. <laughs> so he didn't like that. <laughs> No. <laughs> Good track. That's okay. Here, let, That's me get, let me get him up in it's the yard. Funny that he escaped. So I was too far away when he escaped. Did he just pop out with the zipper? So I I, I pulled him down the alley because he was for a sec. He like was chilling for a second, and so I started riding to see how it would go. And I think the other dogs kind of scared him. He's not like the most confident he doesn't do well with others anyway he just broke out of the zipper which is well so what we also didn't do these little things can kind of i think the point of them is to like snap in here a little bit somehow we gotta play with it more but just to help hold the oh yeah the mesh down it's like we didn't have it all the way zipped which probably was a good thing because the dog literally would have probably broken it yep 30 feet we got like you could feel the weight in it and it felt like really stable so so he's about 60 to 65 pounds yeah as just a reference Bodie, how was your experience so yeah um i think this is the ultimate dad bike i've never been a dad before so like take my word with a grain of salt maybe follow up in september we're gonna do a full review of how this actually works out later on, but it's fun to do a bike check. We'll do like a full review in the spring when she is old enough to actually ride in it. If you guys are interested in a custom build like this, we do not sell crust. I bought this frame, but we would be happy to do a, a build for y'all. Um, this one was super fun. I mean, I, I freaking took a you power customized to this the frame. entire thing. Yeah, this is from the ground up custom, uh, my design check out our website you guys can order anything you want thanks for checking out the crust evasion light build thanks for checking it out thanks for checking it out <laughs>